So hello and welcome to back to another video on Smartass. But it is officially time for my four months on testosterone update, which is absolutely fucking crazy, like insane. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into it with a quick voice comparison. Hey guys, my name is Oliver and this is my voice, Pretty. Hey guys, my name is Oliver and this is my voice, One Month on Testosterone. Hey guys, my name is Oliver and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Hey guys, my name is Oliver and this is my voice three months on testosterone. Hey guys, my name is Oliver and this is my voice four months on testosterone. From the word go, like it had this like natural like base to it, which made it seem really low, but it wasn't that low yet. But now like the voice itself is gradually getting lower and lower, like at this point, um, it's pretty fucking low. Uh, like, I love singing, don't get me wrong, but the tunes that come out are not the ones I intend to come out, let's put it that way. Like, my voice cracks while singing at this point are horrendous. I'm hoping it will change at some point. However, I am starting to get a little bit more control of, like, where my head voice is supposed to be. Like, I, I still haven't found it yet. But I, I'm starting to like realize that there's something there somehow. Secondly, hair growth has, or I mean, I've mentioned it before, but I'm I I need to shave quite a bit now. Um, I have my stomach is full of hair at this point. I have ch literally chest hair up to here and a couple of hairs here, which is weird. Um, but we're gonna have to roll with it. So yeah, hair growth. My legs are hairy as fuck. Even my Upper legs are hairy as shit. As soon as uni started again, my cussing went up somehow because I'm so done with it already. But yeah, speaking of uni, it's been kind of funny because I haven't seen those people because where I live, um, despite everything going on, there's already um, actual lectures again, which I'm in love with. I, like, I need actual lectures, um, even though we're not allowed to sit next to each other, obviously, and we have to wear face masks. But just going to uni instead of doing it from home, like, gives me so much more energy. Like, those people I haven't seen in such a long time were so confused in the beginning. One of them just went, are you, do you have a cold? I'm like, no, yeah, that's puberty. And he was like, oh, okay, fair enough. I'm like, yeah, I started hormone therapy. And he's like, oh, so what, what did you, why did you choose that? I'm like, it was always clear. And I just, I d forgot I hadn't come out to him yet. And I assumed he just knew, and he was like, so, I was like, yeah, well, as soon as I started hitting my first puberty, he was like, what do you mean your first puberty? I'm like, oh, shit. So at this point, honestly, this euphoria hasn't been very high because, like, I don't know, obviously, except for, like, when I see myself just in my binder or something like that. But other than that, like, I just, I sometimes just forget about it or, like, I'm, I don't know. It's, dysphoria has been very, very low, which is, I mean, kind of the point of the whole thing, but I'm starting to feel like my face is becoming puffier, um, but also it's definitely becoming more of a square. Pretty sure acne is still lower than it was before. However, my back, I, back knee is horrible. <laughs> I mean, it's, no, it's not that bad, but like, it's worse than it has been, than, than it ever was before, I believe. My fat still hasn't redistributed, but I'm guessing that will take a while. The major changes this month are still my voice and I think my face. Like, my confidence at university has get, gotten so much higher. Like, I'm, I've, in any, like, labs or something like that, I'm just not afraid to talk anymore. I don't think it's happened to me that I've gotten misgendered in the last month. I know that it happened to me once, which was really weird. I have quite broad shoulders at this point, but I was sat next to my mom who's like, what can I get you ladies? And then I just looked at him and started talking and he looked at me like, oh, I fucked up there. So yeah, mental health wise, my anxiety has started to come back a little bit, but I didn't expect it to go away. Like, for some reason it, it did get better, which I didn't expect. But other than that, my mental health has been really steady. Um, I'm, I didn't expect my mental health to be this good, 
I because everybody always told me that I shouldn't expect it to get better with all that much better with the testosterone. Um, it did. It completely did. I'm gonna be honest. Um, now, if any of you guys out there are planning on going on horm hor hormone replacement therapy or anything like that, please don't expect your mental health to get better or your changes to be the same as mine or the same as other things you see on YouTube. Um, that's not how it works. Everybody works differently. Um, what worked for me is having really low expectations because then you just be happy about everything thing that is happening. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this little update. I don't know, am I doing, should I be doing, can you can you leave me a comment or something? Should I do be doing this monthly? Or like, should I just stop at one point and do like six months and then a year? I'm, I'm just not sure. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, I'll, so, I hope I'll see you all next time and take care. Um, I just realised I didn't get to use my voice crack counter this this month, so that's kind of sad, but at the same time, I hope I'll be able to use it next time.